hey scorpio what is up what is up welcome to your mid-january reading for my gorgeous sun moon rising and venus but what do i always say a lot svetlana you would have to repeat yourself <laughs> do not just put yourself in your sun box check out your <gasps> other placements you never know what sign you might resonate with and if it doesn't resonate throw it right in the bin my name is svetlana if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome back i love you i appreciate you thank you so much for co-creating with me and the universe i am beyond grateful for personal for personal readings everything you need to know is in the description box below let's get into it wowza wowza we have queen of cups what's your overall energy here three of swords you know what i'm not even i'm not surprised because your challenge is ace of cups so healing what you don't see what's around you is two of two of cups you have a very beautiful connection here so let's uh let's jump right into it you saw nine of pentacles independent working on your beautiful beautiful garden your home actually in the pre-shuffle when i was uh doing the cards before i turned on the camera i saw the tower and then eight of pentacles so i had a feeling you were rebuilding something here um wow okay thank you there we go <laughs> clarifying ace of cups is ace of cups death and six of cups are you for real you literally have someone coming back after um after an ending six of cups passed with an ace of cups could be dealing with another scorpio here okay nine of pentacles what's the nine of pentacles you're trying to move on the chariot nine of pentacles you're getting doubles you're getting ace of cups on top of ace of cups nine of pentacles nine of pentacles queen of wands yeah you're trying to you're trying to be independent here well here comes the past uh could have dealt with a uh, pisces here we got Cancer, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're you're trying to oh, okay, fire, uh, Aries, Sag, or a Leo. But you're working so hard in your independence right now. Moving places. And here comes the past. And here comes the decision. Literally moving. I just said moving. We have two of pentacles. What's the two of pentacles, please? I, I mean, Mercury retrograde. Why am I not surprised? Every sign is getting a decision here. Wow. After a tower, I said I, 10 of uh, wands and 7 of pentacles. Do I put in uh, effort to the past situation? Whatever you planted here. Now you're going, do I go back and water it after this tower moment? Oof. Scorpio, Scorpio, um, let's see the Seven of Cups. The Empress could be dealing with the Taurus Libra. Knight of Cups is coming in. Knight of Wands. <gasps> you have three people. Mercury retrograde, you're like, Svetlana, I have three people always coming back. Wow. You have three knights here. So you have seven cups three knights and then an empress that's amazing do you know how i say when you work on yourself you have you have nine of pentacles twice look at this beautiful radiant energy touching anything making it grow making it abundant you're glowing literally and who else glows the empress and what does the empress do as well she attracts you're very um not not only attractive right now a fe uh, female male we, bo we have both masculine and feminine energies you're glowing you're like a moth and <laughs> you're like a moth to a flame you're like the flame and <laughs> they're moth <laughs> you're the moth <laughs> you're the moth um wow you're gonna have options here we got fire and water predominantly here okay 
Well, let's see why you're in the Queen of Swords here uh, coming up in the near future. You're like, I ain't like, you're like, Solana, I don't know if you could tell. I'm Nine of Pentacles. I'm working on my stability. That's why I'm Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords here? Leo, strength. The moon. Ace of Pentacles. Yo, no joke. Every, I swear to God, like five signs, a lot of signs got this Ace of Pentacles for everyone in the near future. I think with 2020, 2022 uh, starting, we're all shedding, coming in, and honestly, we are open. Now that we're in the age of Aquarius, I think everyone's just so open to newness, to this, um, it's like a clear channel of recognition of there's more than one path here and that's what you're realizing there's more than i might not see it now it might not be clear this is the moon right but god willing i have the strength to choose a different road a different um perspective how i want to see it and you're using your wisdom you're using your knowledge from remember three of swords Swords here are what creative tools. Anything you go through, it builds you up. It got you to the Sempress, right? So now you're saying, well, listen, why don't I apply it on this new journey? There's something new coming in here. Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Uh, Cancer, Pisces. Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo. But hold on. Let's do your chariot and your subconscious. Why is the chariot... Queen of Cups, um, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords, okay. You are still looking at the past though. You are still, and you could be guarded because you are, you're going to be in the Queen of Swords energy. And remember, the Queen of Swords is like the opposite of Queen of Cups, right? Queen of Cups is patient. She's open. She's empathetic. Queen of Swords is cut the BS. Let's get to the point. No, thank you. Bye. Next. So as far as wanting to move, you have the chariot twice. Remember, and I said, what, do I stay or do I go? Don't get stuck in your head, Scorp. Do not get stuck in your head with this false imprisonment with false ego mind. You can overcome literally any obstacle. You have a brand new beginning here coming in. It is going to require you to open your heart. These decisions, I'm seeing pentacles i'm seeing swords i am seeing wands right but your next card that we're about to clarify is two of cups and this is going to require you uh, <laughs> miss queen of cups here to go within and make this hard decision you might not see it now because look five of, uh, of cups you know in the original he's looking down and he doesn't see the two of cups that are right behind him and i don't even think uh you know about this Let's go. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? The Sun. Strong Leo. Nine of Wands. You don't see it because you're guarded. Like I said, your heart needs to open up. Six of Swords. The universe is literally trying to take you to calmer waters in your mental state in in your spiritual state but you gotta play ball here you gotta play ball and see where the blockages is because it's always it's always inside of us there's some kind of a uh, fear because we have temperance next and then we have seven of swords that's some deceptive thoughts in your final um card ask yourself what's uh what are you resisting because temperance is flow Temperance is having patience and having trust in the universe. Do you have trust in yourself? With your heart? Do you trust your heart? Oof. Oof. Temperance, please. What's this uh, temperance for my Scorpio? What's the temperance? Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. King of Swords. <sighs> And we have the counterpart, right? King and Queen of Swords here. Both are not... <laughs> well, Three of Cups is a reconciliation. But, um... 
I'm not seeing ten of cups. I'm just seeing a lot of swords. I'm seeing um, not a lot of expression of love on your end here. Five of pentacles. They feel left out on the cold and they want this reconciliation with you. But once again, this, whatever, whether, listen, flip it, reverse it, whoever's watching this, whoever wants this uh, three of cups reconciliation, you gotta, because king of swords, show up as a king of cups. Start speaking your truth, right? Because once again, what, whatever this blockage is, this is why the tower fell. Ten of uh, it made space. It went, whenever there's a tower moment, it's universe coming in, and it's never for uh, to us. The universe is never doing this to us. It's doing it for us to open us up to uh, reveal some kind of truth, some kind of knowledge, wisdom. So it's not supposed to guard you. It's supposed to evolve you. See, look back and see what situations in your life could have blocked you. Blocked your heart, blocked your confidence, your speech, speaking your truth, receiving truth, your crown chakra. I mean, there's so many possibilities. This is why inner work is so important. Seven of Swords. <laughs> Literally saw these cards. I told you, Eight of uh, Eight of Pentacles. Someone wants to rebuild this tower. Four of Wands. Divine timing. Hierophant. Wow, marriage. 11 11 this is union this is coming together this is engagement but once again this is <laughs> this is building a strong foundation and what's stronger i mean what's stronger than the marriage um but guess what there's the seven of swords that's the energy someone's carrying here still looking at the past still somehow guarded hmm Let's see what this Three of Swords is. It's indicating that someone hasn't healed. You might have um, put all your attention on your independence, on your physical, because you have seven, uh, you have nine of pentacles twice. That's being, what, what is it? Not hyper independent, overly independent. What's that thing everyone now is like, oh, that's not that great or something? It's just too independent. I know there's a word for it, but I hope you're um, you're understanding what I'm trying to say. Because they are coming in with a Ace of Cups twice, folks. And how you see it is how you see it. Yeah, we got a message. Six of Pentacles, balance and harmony. Then we got the decision again. What did I say? Swords pentacles do we see wands i don't think we saw wands two 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 could be seen twos a lot but you decide what decision you're gonna make but once again it's not the queen of swords decision it's the queen of uh, cups and you got it twice too so that's really interesting mutual love here I mean, it's beautiful, but swords need to come down and the heart space needs to be open to move to calmer waters with this energy. Okay, let's get... Oof, okay, Scorpio, let's get three more cards here for you. Make sure you're aligned with your higher self. Make sure you're listening. Make sure you're healing. Make sure you're addressing this because not addressing this as in Queen of Swords took out one sword and now is like using it as a defense mechanism. King of Wands. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> the Devil. Two of Cups. Wow. Remember, it's all about perception. It's all about how you see things. If you still haven't healed and you bring this energy into whatever connection, old, new, medium <laughs> medium rare new it's how you see it right get aligned get aligned grab grab hold of your um wand that's your spirit that's your strength right the universe is working here look we got king and queen of wands two people knowing what they want and going after it this is so beautiful this needs um this needs attention. You need to fill your own cup here, Scorp. 
less uh you've been o uh, focused on the money let's go back into your heart space wow i hope this helped score this was oof. <laughs> love it though thank you so much for sharing your energy if it resonated leave a like comment subscribe you know the drill uh for personal readings informations down below i love you i appreciate you thank you so much namaste